Hey guys, Lawrence here, and once again it's a Monday and time for another Shed Talk. And there goes a train. The train of thought. Oh, that just reminds me of Inside Out. Man, that's a good movie. I think that and Grave of the Fireflies are two movies that I would never want to see again because they're just too precious. We're, we're losing our train of thought that we just had. The topic for today is concerning the idea of that everybody has to be a brand and what being a brand means nowadays. I started doing my whole abridging thing with no clue about what I wanted to get from it. Back in 2006, YouTube was barely a thing. In fact, it wasn't really anything that you could consider monetizable at all. It was just a place to put videos. Google had barely acquired YouTube. Oh god, I remember all of the rant videos from people who thought, Oh my god, YouTube's going to destroy Google! Ugh, hardly. YouTube's one of its biggest assets. Oh, how we were so naive. But back then, we were just there to make videos, and even when Team Four Star formed, the idea of monetization was really not a thing that we would even aspire to, and it's been the business model for TFS that we would never monetize our own videos. So if you ever see an ad on a Team Four Star DBZA video, that's going to its proper holders, which in this case is Toei. Nowadays, it feels like everybody needs to be a brand, and I mentioned that I did a lecture for Philly's school, um, talking about the idea of online security, about, you know, social media stuff, and how everybody is really stressed out that they need to be their own thing, to have a brand, something that makes them them, something that makes them stand out from the crowd, and that they even think they have to stand out from the crowd. And that is really, really stressful for a kid. I'm lucky that I didn't really have that. I wanted to be popular, I wanted to be recognised, but I wanted to, you know, have some kind of merit. You don't have to carve out a niche, you don't have to have your own merch. I feel like really because I have a channel that is like that, I need to have some kind of brand which makes me stand out from the rest of the Dragon Ball crowd. Something that makes me me. And I'm lucky that I have Team Four Star to back me up. I can imagine that if I didn't have that, it would be a lot harder to really stand out. I'm really grateful for that every single day. But that's why I actually found it really nice when I went to San Japan. And the majority of people that came up to me were saying, Oh, I really like your stuff. The stuff that, you know, I made. It means I'm doing something right. But what I'm trying to get at is... Don't worry about becoming a brand, and if you want to become a brand, just take it slow and just forge something out that is true to yourself. Have conviction in what you say, and if you don't want to become a brand, you just want to make videos for the pleasure of it, yeah, do it. That's why I made this second channel, to have some fun, to actually stretch out and have some, you know, videos that were just any old thing. Like, I did a vlog about going to Ikea and just talking about what Ikea means to Philly and I. That is literally the topic of the video. And yeah, it'll come out later this week, but I just did it. And it's all good practice for the upcoming Japan trip because I really need to get over my insecurity about vlogging in front of other people. So this is good practice. Just make your videos, dude. And you know, these things will come to you. Like the whole unsubscribe thing, that's just become a thing. And the butt masico, that's just thing that people pick up. People give you ideas. Don't try and stress out over it because one thing I found really interesting when I was making Naruto Abridged is that we did try to make shirts and it wasn't really a thing that people wanted. And I guess that was just down back into the days of 10 years ago. If you made shirts, then you were considered selling out. Nowadays, it's pretty much second nature. I like making shirts and they're really fun to make and it's nice to see people wearing them, I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, it's not the be-all and end-all. I don't sell anything. Oh well, well. This channel is just basically here for funsies. I mean, now I've reached the threshold where I can monetize videos, but that's just something I just go, huh, neat. Again, it is something that I've designed for should Article 13 ever occur. And really, you might have been hearing loads of your um, favorite creators talking about it. The hashtag save your internet, if you're in the EU, you really need to take a look at it and contact your representatives to really stop this because really, if this goes through in this current guide with such vague terminologies, then it could risk everybody on YouTube, including my stuff, 
Team Four Star may not be accessible in the European Union ever again. My content would be either completely drastically changed or it be done. So yeah, I'll leave a link to the uh, campaign below. I don't usually do online petitions, but this one, it needs to be said because this is, this is my career. This is something I've done and, you know, I want to make the most of it and I want to keep on doing it. It's just been whirling through my head and just thinking about brands and stuff like that. How will that change? Because doing Dragon Ball stuff, that's how I got on here. That's why I want to adapt and just make a brand up for myself. But if you are really insistent on coming up with your own idea and your own niche, listen to your audience, listen to your crowd. They're your most loyal supporters and they will back you and they will provide the best ideas because audiences are very, very, very creative. And I'm really glad to have regulars I see down in the comments that are just really, really pleased to just hang out. Like on the Twitch crowd, if you go to Twitch, there are loads of people I see all the time and it's really nice to hear from them and seeing people in the comments, regular commenters. And you're just like, oh, that's nice to see them. I like having this community. I don't want to give it up. And it's all stemmed from the fact that it's an open world. The discussions are very open. I got a question from somebody that after this panel I did, I said they want to make a rant video. And I'm thinking, well, if you build your brand over something that is just based on rants, then if you want to be supportive of something, that's going against your brand. And really the best thing to do in that situation is to not have a brand. I guess that's all I've got to say really. It's a very hodgepodge topic. I hope you're having a good rest of your Monday. And once again, guys, one is glad to be of service.